friends today i'm going to show you how to make a 3d effect uh, bird frame so for that you are going to use a liquid glue make sure you use the white color liquid glue not the transparent one and it should be little liquidy if not try to add little water i am using here uh, johnson's baby powder and make sure when you use this powder either you wear a mask on your nose or you just try to stay a little far and not to inhale it because it's not healthy and the reason is i'm i'm now taking one spoon of water because i think the liquid glue is not very liquidy so if your glue is thick you can just take two spoons of water but in my case i guess one spoon of water was enough for me so you have to add the johnson's baby powder little by little in that way there will be no lumps and uh, you can control on it so you don't have to add more water or more glue for it so you just keep adding little by little johnson's baby powder and you'll get the correct consistency so here i'm stirring it continuously and make sure you clean the edges because the powder tends to get dry quickly so the edges is always a little dry and the bottom part you will feel it's liquidy so make sure you always keep cleaning the edges and stir it nicely and check whether there is no lump so right now i'm again going to add a little more powder in it so make sure you do it in a transparent glass so you can come to know what's going on there and uh, the narrow the glass it's better because you know the powder doesn't spread over so right now the consistency look thick but when you when you try to pour it and if it breaks that is that is the correct consistency so i'll show you now let's see i guess i have to add a little more yeah i guess this should be enough let's check okay this looks good i'm going to clean the edges and it's thick so yeah this looks good there's no lump and see when i try to pour it it should stop in between it should be thin line and it should stop it's not stopping so I'm going to add a little more now if you find it's way too thick it's okay if you can add one spoon of water or a little glue also but as I said you if you try to add little by little it should be good see now it's it's thin line and i'm sure it's gonna stop now i think this is perfect right now so the reason i'm adding it again because it's not stopping it's running so i want the consistency when i hold the spoon up uh, the line should flow down and stop in between so i have done quite a few frames of it and i have discovered that this is the correct way to check the consistency see i guess see now it's stopping this is the correct one yeah it should yeah so i think i'm ready to fill this in the cone so i have made a plastic cone out of it i guess uh, you guys know how to make a cone if not i'll just make one more video to show you how to make the cone and i'm using here spoon to pour it but you know what should i have done i should have directly you know pour from it from the cup that that was much easier i guess so the spoon thing was not that great i messed my fingers so as you see now i am just pouring it directly so 
so in two tiny cones your one frame is done so right now I'm just making one cone and I'm not going to seal it with cello tape I'm just going to tie it up with uh, plastic uh, rubber band I mean elastic rubber band it's not a messy work only I messed up while using the spoon to pour in the cone otherwise it's not a messy work so I'll clean my hands and here I am ready so just try to cut little by little and check yeah so for me right now this thin consistency looks good so you can make whatever design you want for here I'm just going for a very simple design I'm just drawing some uh, some st uh, stems and uh, what do you call that okay and some tiny leaves so I'm going to complete this in the same way yes so this is all complete and this is how it looks so I'm drawing this on a wooden frame that's a wooden frame so if you are living in US or Canada you get this easily at dollar store it just cost you two dollar fifty cents and uh, and I just painted it with the uh, acrylic color so I choose green color so if you want you can do this on canvas also and I'm just drawing a bird so you can go ahead and draw with the pencil also and uh, I was just little confident about it because I have done a couple of frames before so I'm just doing the outline first and I'm going to fill that with the fevicol and with the glue and the Johnson's baby powder paste so I don't know what they call for this paste but it gives you nice 3d effect and once it is dried it gives you nice fragrance of uh, Johnson's baby powder too and I have tried this frame last year so I was wondering like you know after a few months does it going to change its color like you know if, if it's nice bright white and I was like wondering like you know over the month will it change its color or the 3d effect is going to settle down but I've seen that the color doesn't change and the 3d effect doesn't settle down so this is just perfect so I really liked it so I'm just going to complete my frame now and uh, first I make the outline of anything what you want if you want to draw a bird or cat dog sitting there anything any flowers whatever you wish like or any uh, Indian art you can do with it so right now I have filled it if you can see I have filled uh, when I was filling this I cut the cone a little bit more so after filling I gave 24 hours to dry and then I added a dot so this is what I did with red yellow and green hope you enjoyed this video and do try it it's very easy and very fun